What's up sellers and welcome to today's video. It's Monday, super happy that it's Monday. Monday's my favorite day of the week. This is just kind of a what's going on video as far as the reselling goes. I sold this painting on eBay. Now I um, painted it and I listed it as an auction and I sold it for $256. Let's just take a look at that. This is acrylic. It is primary color, so it's painted black on a white canvas, painted black, and then um, it's just got kind of splatters of red, green, blue, RGB, so the primary colors, with some splatters of white on there. That is crooked. Um, I painted that and I listed it on eBay as an auction and it sold for $256. Unfortunately, um, the buyer has not paid. It's been a few days since that auction closed and they have not paid. I did send them a payment reminder. I think I'm going to have to open up a um, non-paying ca a case against the buyer for non-payment. We'll see. Um, I've heard of a lot of people selling paintings on eBay and the buyers just don't pay. So that's something that is kind of a bummer, but I'm going to work through that and I'm looking forward to bringing content to you about how to handle those sort of things and come to resolution with those. So stay tuned. That is going to be something that we work on through the next several days or uh, maybe a couple of weeks as we try to get that 256 bucks locked in. Today we've got some things to work on. Uh, this is my son's Pokemon collection. He has decided to give this up. He wants to sell it and then take the proceeds from this and invest them into the stock market. I do a lot of day trading and swing trading in the stock market, and uh, he is super interested in it. He's eight years old, and I explain similar to how Pokemon cards have value. You can trade them for better cards. You can um, trade them for money. You can play the game similar to the stock market, except the stock market is that you are buying pieces of companies or commodities or that sort of thing. He's very interested in that. And so um, he wants me to take all of these and sell them. And then we will take a portion to buy new cards to flip and sell for him. And, um, and then he is going to invest a large majority of that money into the stock market, into really solid stocks that will gradually increase over time. We won't be day trading his money, but we will be uh, putting that to good use to make money for him in the long run. Also stuff to work on figuring out how to get this thing to work. The seller has not responded as far as what to do with this. So I guess we're just going to um, keep it and try to figure out a way to make it work. Still have shoes that need to be clean and listed. I am slacking on that. And then this pile. My goal today is to get through this entire pile photographed and um, at least list 10 or so of them. We've got a bunch of jeans. We've got some shirts some stuff that I've had in here for a really long time. Uh, this Columbia jacket, vintage Tommy Hilfiger button up, vintage Tommy Hilfiger um, flag style polo, another Tommy, more jeans. There is a lot to do today. Today's gonna be a very busy day. Um, I've been up for quite a while. It's 11 o'clock right now, time to jump in. Have to ship some orders, so I will show you guys a few things that have sold overnight and into this morning. Uh, we do have a few packages that are already packaged from yesterday. Uh, so let's jump into this and I will share with you what we are selling today. Yesterday, I took my three-year-old out to go fishing. It was his first time fishing and catching any fish and he actually caught three fish. He caught uh, the world's smallest perch, a couple inches long. Then he caught a very healthy sized bluegill, which ended up swallowing my uh, one of my favorite uh, bluegill lures. And then he caught another bluegill on a different lure. Super pumped about that. I'm going to show you guys at the end of this video some of that footage. So cute. He loved it. I had a blast. I caught one fish because I was just kind of focusing on letting him catch all his fish. Uh, yeah, really great time. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. All right, here we are in the storage shed. We've got a few things that have sold. Let's go down the list. First thing is this two-pack of hot air balloons and birds in a birdhouse puzzles. These are inexpensive little puzzles. I've sold a ton of these throughout the um, CV19 period. I'm not gonna say the words because YouTube will uh, penalize this video. So the CV19 period, sold a ton of these. These are pretty inexpensive 
and a huge portion of the cost goes towards shipping them. However, um, uh, I've had a few people say that they uh, really enjoyed themselves. I got one person uh, that just sent me a private message that said, hey, just so you know, one of the puzzles that you sent us was missing a piece and it had an extra piece. And so it did have the 500 pieces. However, uh, one of the pieces was missing and it had a duplicate of a piece that it already had. So it had two of one piece. Uh, they are sealed in a bag in here. And so from the manufacturer, they were missing a piece and they had an additional piece. So that's one thing that sold. Well, let's see what's next on the list of things to pull out of here. Uh, this Haynes repair manual for Chevy and GMC repair. Uh, I picked this up for maybe a dollar or two bucks. I think it was at a library sale. Sold this for $14.99 free shipping. So it'll be a couple bucks of shipping on that. Excited about that. Next thing is this two pack of Puffs uh, 96 count per box tissue. Um, the main, like with the other stuff, the majority of the cost of this after fees goes towards shipping it. I have a very good buy cost on those and I make about two to three dollars per box uh, after everything's said and done, which fits my margins and I'm happy with that. Since we're shipping a ton of stuff anyways, might as well just throw that into the mix. The motivation myth right here. Books always interest me as far as the sales price because eBay is not like a book selling platform like Amazon is geared towards selling a lot of books. Uh, however, this sold for 1077 uh, motivation myth. I paid a dollar for it. Glittering Vices, another book. Let's see here. Glittering Vices. This is a smaller book and it sold for $7.99. That actually sold this morning. And that is all we've got for right now. So we have five items here. And then we have the three that sold yesterday that have already been packaged up. At the end of April, probably beginning of May, I will do a what sold in April, where I'll show you kind of everything and give a breakdown of everything that sold in April. All right, so let's jump back into the office and get these things packaged. Let's send them out. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thanks for watching. I know there wasn't a whole lot to this, just kind of showing you what we've got going on for today and the rest of the week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned after this for the pictures and a couple of video clips of my three-year-old fishing. It was great to have you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not already and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you on the next video. Keep going, keep going. You got your first little fish. Yeah, buddy. I got you. Let's see it. Let's look at it. Let me have this. Let's look at oh, him. look at him. You foul hooked him. Wow. Can I touch him? Yeah, touch him. How's he feel? Good. He feels good? Haha, <laughs> 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 nice. That's a yeah. perch. Yeah. It's a little perch. You want me to take him off there and set him free? Yeah. Do you want to give him a little kiss? Everyone gives their fish a little kiss when they first get it. No. You don't want to give him a little kiss? No. Just a little kiss on the belly. It's okay. Give him a little kiss. No. On the back, maybe? Okay, here, let me have him. Oh. No, you got it, you got it. Pull him in, pull him in, pull him in. You got it, come on. Good job, nice one. Just like the other, okay, stop. Right there, stop, stop, stop. Okay. All right, nice, buddy. Whoa, oh. I'm gonna pet him. You gonna pet him? Yeah. Pet him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. not no, wait, yo, on you're the good. sharp you're good. things. Yeah, not on the sharp things, just on the soft part. Here, I'll hold it for you. When it lands oh. to when the it, other shop things. Yeah. Are you gonna kiss him? No. You're not gonna give a little kiss? No.